Okay. Hi, everybody. I don't know why this is so slow. There's Pippi. Oh, no, that's Teresa. Teresa, get your butt. No, no, no. No, no, no. Come on. We have an overcast today, so it's a little dark. I hope this is going to be enough lighting to finish making this video. Sorry. Okay. This is not starting off to a good start here. We got too many cats, nosy cats, and a bunny on the on the floor. Yes, we have Bunny. Let me introduce you to Bunny first before we get started. He loves sweet potato. This is uncooked, peeled. No, it's not peeled. Just plain sweet potato. I don't know if you can see Bunny Bunny. His name is AC. Bunny Bunny. Come on, come on, come on. Is he bunny bunny? Come on. Come on, come here, come here. Yeah, you can. Come on, yeah, jump. Come here, come on. Come on, yeah. I'm trying to make you work for it. Come on, come on, yeah. So they can see you. There we go. Did you get that? Well, we'll find out if. He shows up on the tape or not. But yes, that was my, uh, actually dance bunny. He came from California. His name is AC. Named after ACDC. The rock band. And look who else is here. Of course, you know Bogey. He's always hanging around in the kitchen. He's going to help me plant. Yes, we're going to be planting today. Like everybody else, I'm getting a little cabin fever. It's snowing outside again. And I see Gizzy right there, right next to the computer, staring at me. <laughs> He's wondering who I'm talking to. So, um, like I said, we're going, we're going to be doing something different today instead of cooking. I am off to a late start, but I wanted to plant some seeds, get ready for spring gardening. Uh, um, just to let you know, it's a little dark, so I should come closer. No. I hope this video comes out all right because everything seems dark. And I'm not quite sure, but they, there seems to be a delayed motion here. I don't know how this is going to work out. But I'm just going to go ahead with it. If it doesn't work out, I'll just make another video. Uh, like I said, I lost track of what I was going to say. You know me. I do that a lot. Uh, anyway, I'm looking at myself in the screen. I realize how, what a mess I look like today. Unlike my other videos. I, uh, I just bought a, uh, what do you call it? A load of wood up. We have a wood cook stove that I use to heat up the kitchen. I don't use it for cooking, but it really does heat up the kitchen. In fact, um, the, you know how it arises. It heats the kitchen, the whole kitchen, and and the upstairs, you know, the upstairs floor is always warm. So I like to keep it going to save. I don't like to burn wood, but we're on a tight budget, and when 
you live in Maine, when the oil bill is like 500 every so often, every time you get it filled, it's, you know, it's a lot. So you try your best to keep the price down. And if, you have, if you're fortunate enough to have wood stove and free wood, we had to chop a lot of wood the previous years. So we have a lot of aged wood that we chopped down. So we're going to use that. And we, it really helps to cut down the heating bill. So I'm grateful for the wood stove. It's an antique, by the way. It came with the house. I don't really know how old it is. I know the house was built in 18 something, 1800. But uh, anyway, enough chit chatting. I wanted to show you what I wanted to plant. I have a whole bunch of old, old seeds. I buy my seeds when they go on sale at the end of the season. Often you can get them for like a dime a pack or 20 cents a pack. Even at Walmart, they have it on sale. But I go various places. Whenever I shop and I see anything on sale, you know me. I like to buy things on sale. So, yeah, I got these. And they do. Most of them always came up with me. But like I said, I don't have a green thumb. In fact, I kill, <laughs> I hate to uh, admit it, but I kill a lot of my plants. So, this is, this is not to tell you how to garden or how to be a successful gardener. This is more like a, just a bit of showing what I do and what what happens, <laughs> you know, when a, a non-green thumb gardener tries to garden. And my biggest problem is I don't water. I know you have to. They say the key to good gardening is give it plenty of sunshine and water, water, water. But that's where I fail, I think. I think that's my biggest problem. That's how I end up killing a lot of plants. But on the other hand, I do have some success stories. My geraniums, I bring them in every year. And I've had, oops. Okay, what are you doing back there, kids? I was saying my geraniums, I had them. I had the original geraniums that Dan had bought me when, when we first moved here. It was hanging on the porch. I may have some pictures of it that, that I might show to you one day. But I've been um, taking slips from them, making cuttings. And yes, I have some collection of them now. So that is one. I love geraniums because... I can grow that well, and I keep growing the same thing over and over again. Especially when you can bring it indoors and put it out in the summer. You know, it saves a lot of money. Actually, those big geranium plants, if you buy them in a nice size like that, they cost a lot. So, yeah, you save a lot of money if you have the space, bring it indoors. And that's what I'm going to be doing too. I'm going to plant a couple seeds. Well, I already started planting some, but I just want to uh, plant just a few, just to, just to show that I plant seeds. Uh, let me see. You know what? Let's start off with tomatoes. Everybody plants tomatoes, right? I have almost started already. But I want to show you. Excuse my back. Well, you can mommy have this spot here. Do you have to be in the spotlight? And funny on the floor. <laughs> if you're done eating, will you move out of the way? Oops. I don't know why I have this on. It was cold in the basement. See, I don't know. You see, it's all black. That's what happens when you have wood stove and you're trying to uh, light it up. So, yeah, so my sleeves are getting ready. I'm looking at the video. I look back. 
I did say I was going to go on a diet, did I? Remember, I said only five pounds. <laughs> but, yeah. So, the first thing I wanted to talk about was uh, the containers. I've used all kinds of containers. But, they come in these, uh, they come GP pots. These work pretty good. You just, I can get it out. This is a smaller size one. They come in different sizes. You've seen these in garden stores already. You just, you just put soil in and put the seeds in. And, uh, you, when you, when you're ready to plant outside, you plant a whole, whole container outside. Which is good. Because you don't have to disturb the seedlings. Especially for the fragile, fragile ones. I like these. And they also have, which I've used already, these are pellets. I shouldn't have put the gloves on. These pellets are very closer to the camera. It's dry and you soak these in the water and they swell up. Almost to the size of, oh, bigger than those pots a lot of times. But yeah, they swell up and then you just stick a seed in and that's it. And they do well too. They actually, all the containers I've used in the past, they all did well. Like I said, my problem problem is keeping it watered. <laughs> so don't make that mistake that I make. Make sure you keep it watered. And of course these are recycled. Remember I said I like to reuse and recycle a lot of stuff. I have bought some flowers. I also buy some flowers, you know. You go to the store and even grocery stores carry flowers these days. And it's hard to walk by and not buy any pretty looking flowers or vegetables. So even though I plant some and I have some, I always end up buying some. So I'm reusing the six pack containers. And another great one I like to use is these um these plastic uh I think they call it solo cups. It's it's a plastic, paper, like paper cup, but it's plastic. You, you can buy them in Walmart or any store, any groceries carry them. Uh, and then I, you just poke a hole in the bottom. I don't know if you can see. Without spilling, I have soil in it. Anyway, take my word. Just I poke some holes in the bottom for drainage. That's very important. You don't want to let any plants sit in a wet soil, especially the seedlings. This boggy, don't be so nosy, please. Watch my, I don't think they want to see you. This is mommy's video. Look at butt. And don't stand on my computers. Oops. <laughs> yeah, come on, get out. There we go. He jumped out. And there's another one. <laughs> I told you it's not easy living with cats and making a video. But such is the life we have here. They are fun to have around though. They keep me company. Okay. I forget. Oh yeah, we were talking about containers. Yes. I just wanted to show you. I only... I'm spilling a lot, even though I put a, a rock pebbles, no special kind, just anything you grab from the garden. 
on the bottom so that the soil doesn't spill like like this. Well, it would have spilled a lot more should I not have had the uh, the rock on the bottom. But yeah, then I feel it like three fourth, one half to three fourth, only because. Why should I put the so, uh, seed in and the seeds sprout, especially tomatoes? This, you, I, I would like to add more soil to that after it sprouts because the stem, you can see the little fuzzy, uh, hairs on the stem. That's all gonna be root. So you have extra roots, you know, if you plant it shallow like this and just keep adding more soil. As it gets taller, the the stem part will grow into roots. So you you're off to a good start. You, the more roots you have, you're off to a better start. This is what I'm told, and I believe that. I've done that already, and I've had success with that. Even in the garden, you know, even after you transplant in the garden, you know, you don't need a tall stem. So I pile the the dirt around the stem a little bit and you know to make it more root. The more roots the better they can absorb the nutrients and the water. So that's a good thing. So yeah. I don't know why I put a gloves on because I'm only gonna I'm really not gonna be doing too much. I want to show you. You don't plant these very deep. That's where I used to make a lot of mistakes. I planted these deep and it took forever for it to come off. And sometimes it would rot. See how? I don't know if you can see it, but it's not very, it's very small seed. This is the bee steak tomato. I always like to plant about about three in a cup. Let's plant it. Well, that was more than three, but <laughs> you can always trim it. I don't like to spend too much time. Yeah, you can cut one by one, but who wants to do that? It's it's easy to just put whatever a pinch of whatever comes out and trim and you know get scissors and cut them cut them to about two. Are you being nosy? Yes, we're planting. And of course, you always want to make sure and mark them. That's another mistake I, I used to make. See, I'm telling you all these mistakes that I made so that you can put, like I, like I said before, so that you can benefit from my mistakes. Most of, of you have garden and have much better luck than I have. But for those who have not garden or for those who were not successful at it like I was in the beginning, you might be able to uh, benefit from this video. This is just something fun to share. It's like I'm looking for a pen. Excuse me. I hope my cats behave. I see you, Teresa. I'm looking for a pen. Teresa, be behave. Wrong video. And of course I'm not. Well, here it is. I'm not quite prepared as usual. <laughs> what did I say? It was beef steak tomato. Right?
Okay. So that's marked. And oh, before I even put the seeds on, what I normally do is soak this whole thing in the water to moisten the whole you know, just till the top of the soil is moist moist and then you take it out and drain it. Which I didn't do but that's what I would do. I'm trying to work this in my kitchen which I don't really like to do. That's why I'm trying to cut corners here. But that's what you would do. And we'll just use this soil. It's the same soil. Oh, talking about soil, before I forget, I like to use a, um, special seed starting potting soil. This one is Mar Miracle Grow. It says helps promote strong root development. For, I'm sure any, any uh, medium will do as long as it's light. You know, they don't, you don't want a heavy clay topsoil. And you just cover it, just, just barely, barely covering it. I used to always cover, cover it a little too heavy. But you don't need to do that. Just so that you can't see the seeds. And when you water water it, and if, you can always add a little bit more soil if you feel you need to. But if you press it down, as long as the seed is in contact with the soil and has a little, little bit of moisture, it'll root. They're not really that hard to root. That's not really the biggest problem. Let me know how it goes for you guys. I'm sure most of you will be planting. Even if you don't have a big backyard, you can plant vegetables or flowers in the pots. There's always some kind of a room in the house for pots, a sunny window. If you don't have any uh, window that has that gets sunshine, you can always uh, provide, what do you call it? The lamp, plant, plant lamps, they, they work pretty good, really do. So if you don't have a good window, just use, they, they can be all kinds of sizes and, and, uh, and looks, <laughs> shapes. So you, you're bound to find something that works with your decoration. But they're not really that ugly, I don't think. Yeah, use them. So that means that anybody can really grow, whether you have space or not. You can always grow. There's always room for one tomato plant, right? That's what they tell me. And herbs. Oh, there's always room for herbs in my kitchen. And of course, the cats like it too. Okay, so you would water this. I'm going to make a mess, so I'm not going to do that. I don't think I have to show you how to water it, just spritz water on it. I could do that. This is not how a professional will probably do it. I've, I've looked at other videos and they do it much nicer. There's so many, there's tons of videos out there for starting seeds. So you might want to go check those videos out. I'm just making this video just for fun, just to share some time with you guys and to let you know what I do. This is my life. Yeah. Oh, the, by the way, the the sink handle, it came. So it just has to get busy with it. But we, 
It did, it did say king in the mail. So, <laughs> I will soon be having a faucet, my faucet back again. So that's that. That's all there is to that. And, let me clear this up and I want to show you something else. Garden related. I'm going to be off the camera for a second. Oops. Guess what I found in my greenhouse. I have a greenhouse in my basement. <laughs> yes, of all the places, it's in my basement. But it's very appropriate because it doesn't get that cold in the basement. And when it's snowing like today, there's nothing better to do than to go down the basement and find a couple flowers popping like this one. I did it. I went down to actually clean my greenhouse out. And this is what I found. I wanted to get it clean so I could take my camera. Oh, He's coming. He's, they love plants. They want to. But I, I don't know which plants are poisonous or which makes them ill. So I try not to have plants where they're, they can help themselves. Unless I know for sure that they're okay. Come on. It's not your video. <laughs> Come on, go get that. Come on, get that. You can jump down. You've jumped down before. No, come on. No, no, no. Just sniff. Don't eat. No. Just sniff, please. Uh, yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. To get me in the mood, I have my my flower mug. <laughs> this I got for my retirement. And oh, and I'm also wearing my flower pen. <laughs> what else? I did that. I do a lot of things just to get me into the mood. Hey, behave. Okay, now I wanted to. Yeah, I just wanted to show you that. <laughs> These are the little miniature daffodils. I'm going to try to bring it closer. Without. You know, me and my tea and coffee, I have to have some kind of liquid all the time. It's not, not mind you, it's not the best looking plant because I have to clean this up. It, it sprouted earlier than what I wanted to. This is actually, this is my, uh, window box planter. And I, I was hoping this would sprout for spring when I put it out. That was my plan. But it's not working out. It, it came out early. So. I don't know. By the time spring comes, they'll be done. I might have, I might just, I have some kind of bulb there that just came loose. I don't know what they are. I think there's bulbs like this. But I'm just going to stick it in and see what happens. I'll keep you up to date on it, okay? See, these are the things I just like to share what I do. And hey, if it works, you might want to try it. If it doesn't, then you don't try it. <laughs> so, yeah, I wanted to clean this up, which I'm going to do over here. I just wanted to show you the flower. Oh, and here. I don't know if you can see this. This is a hyacinth. Now, these are small bulbs that I got cheap, of course, so they don't get big. But over time, 
they will get big, like my others do. But I thought it'd be nice for a, a container window box like this. You don't need a big flower. So I did not bring my pruner shears. They're in my basement. I'll just use a regular scissor. Normally you would use a pruning shear, not scissor. Or a garden shear, I should say. Yeah, I just cut cut off all these dead ones, which I should have really this should have been done in fall, you know, when they were all done, or at the end of summer. Not now. <laughs> but, remember I said sometimes I get depressed and everything? Well, this was really not one of the best years. And I'm hoping making the YouTube videos and be more active with people, even my friends. You know, I should go visit them more more often. I'm trying to combat the depression. <laughs> Self diagnosed, remember? I didn't go to the doctor. He didn't say I was I had I suffered from anything, so don't worry. But again, yeah, I just cut all these dead ones, or the ones that I don't, I don't know what's what. That's another thing I wanted to talk about, about labeling. If you don't label them, how do you know what's what when they come up? Because if you have memory like mine, you don't know, you don't remember what it, what they look like. I've often pulled out weeds in my flower bed, thinking that, I mean, pulled up flowers thinking that they were weeds. And then later on in the summer I would be like, did I not plant some whatever the flower was? I don't know. <laughs> Something up here and it's missing and I realized, hey, I probably pulled out my perennials thinking they were weeds. So it's good to keep that marker some kind of a permanent marker on the ground where you plant perennials. Which I'm going to have to stick to my own advice and do that this spring. I'll be taking you outside to share my garden with you too. Yeah, we, we can have lots of fun. And I would love to see your garden too. I love I love seeing other people's garden. To get ideas and just just to know how other people garden, you know. I'm sure much, much better than me. I have stick poke here. Is it was probably a marker for something that was down here, but I don't really know what it was because I didn't mark it. I just marked it with a stick. <laughs> so you don't do that. But for now, I'm just gonna cut these things off because I don't know what I'm cutting. Because they don't look pretty. In fact, I'm going to take the sticks out. Whatever comes up, comes up. I don't think the weeds would come up. So sometimes I get too heavy, too uh, liberal with my shears. I cut everything up. Oh, no, no, no. You can't chew on these. I don't know what they are. No, 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 no. Oh, this is Houghton. I think you met Houghton already. Houghton, say hi to the camera. Say hi. There's Houghton. Oh, I know what this is. This is not going to come back. This is an annual. It has uh, flowers like salvia. I think salvia or slavia. I'm 
to clean this up. I might leave some of the markers there. The stick mark. I call them markers, but they're just stick. Then I'm gonna wipe wipe this uh, box later on when I'm off camera. I don't want to waste your time. So, and pretty much, and I would like to. I'm gonna have to find some kind of a a stick, because you know, maybe because we don't have enough sunlight in the. Nope, don't chew. Do not chew. Nope, I don't know what they are. Don't chew. Open. You see this water bottle. I'm not being mean. It's just water. <laughs> that's how I, like I said, that's the only way I can control them. Without being mean. So, yeah. Let's see. I wanted to talk about some of the seeds. These are bulbs that, or bulbs that, you know, came out of my garden. I don't know what they are. <laughs> but I'm going to plant them and see what happens. From the size of it, I don't think they're big, big flowers. Wherever there's a space, like here's a big empty space, I'm just going to plant it. And then I'm going to put soil. Then I want to see if I can prop some of these, uh, these, uh, geraniums, not geranium, hyacinth. Oh, they smell so good. Everybody has to plant hyacinth. And daffodils. They have such a perfumey smell. But yeah, but they get heavy. So you, you wanna, you know, I'm thinking about putting some stick and then tying them or something. Cause you don't want the flowers to just chew. So that's this. I wanna show you another one that I'm gonna do. Okay. Only I wish you would move from the. I can't walk. So you didn't know I had a bunny too. Oh, you should know because my uh. My icon, I guess you call them icon, my signature thing. Uh, that I'm sitting in the living room with the bunny. When the bunny that that was taken a while back, when he was a little bit younger. He used to uh, take himself upstairs um, and then just help himself on the couch when, whenever we sit there. He would sit with us. He's like a baby. Uh, then, I guess because he's getting old, all of a sudden he stopped wa wanting to climb the stair. It's just too much for him. So now he hangs around in the kitchen. And we have his. He has his own room in the in, in the bathroom. We call it we call it AC's room. And that's where all the cat litter boxes are there too. So that's the story of a bunny. We also have a turtle. <laughs> this is like a superhero. But they're all rescued, even the bunny and the turtle. Dad said he found the turtle in some bush, something like, something like that. So we don't know how old the turtle is. His name's Tom. But he's, he's hibernating. He hibernates during the winter time. Yeah, you will see him in the summer. Okay. Oh, this is, I brought geraniums. This is an offspring. Of the geranium, you know, that my, remember I said, um, Dan bought me three huge hanging basket of geraniums. And what I do is take cuttings, and this is the offspring of 
one of those. So I don't really remember which is the original, if, if I even really had the original. Because, you know, I just take cuttings and stick it in. Sometimes I kill plants, so. But, yeah. I don't know what I did with the scissor up here. What I do is I just start trimming off because I want this to be bushy by the time I'm ready to put this outside. You know, like probably around June, maybe. The weather will get warmer here. <laughs> you can't, I can't always go by the calendar. The zones, you know, they zone whatever, but uh, three or seven. I'm just, I'm distracted because we have a window right there, and I can see the snow coming down. It's been snowing all, all day. On top of the snow that we have already, my balcony, the railing on the balcony, that is. The snow is all the way up to the railing. That's how bad it is here. Boy, I'm looking at myself and really look bad with this sweatshirt. <laughs> I'm not that bad. I'm bad, but not that bad. Trust me. <laughs> Next time I wear, I will wear a different outfit, and you'll see I'm not really that bad. But I do need to lose, and I'm saying that on camera. So I can commit myself to a little bit of weight loss. I don't go on a diet though. So that's what makes it a little hard. Yeah, what I'm basically doing is removing all the dead, dead branches. Then what I'll, and leaves like that. Ugly, ugly leaves. <laughs> then what I'm gonna do is, see these have flowers on it. Normally, I would, well, I could do that now, too, I guess. In order to get it bushy, you want to cut it down. But my problem with that is, whenever I see buds, I don't want to cut it off. I want it to flower. And they say, don't. So here I go. Ah! Oh, look what, see, this is what I don't like to do. I, I hate to cut these little buds off because I know I can go downstairs and I'll see some flower blooming. Maybe they might still bloom because I'm going to make cuttings out of this. All you'd have to do, that's why I love geraniums. All I have to do is just cut a few leaves off, you know, where these nodes are, they will start rooting. You don't even have to stick it in the water or anything. Just stick it back in a pot and after they will you will be successful and it will take root. But well, that's how, I don't know if you can tell, there's another geranium in here, a little one. That's how, what I did. I just took a broken piece and just stuck it in and it rooted. So you can opt for fancy rooting techniques and all that stuff, but with geraniums, I just do that. <laughs> you know, you know me. I like the easy, lazy way out. And who's gonna know the difference? How how you propagate it, it as long as it works. That's my take on that. Hopefully, this will bloom. Sometimes it blooms, and I will not have missed a flower. But, but that's how you control all these leggy, tall geraniums. You can keep them more bushier and more spread out, more full. That's just a, that's how I control it. Just remove some, some on the bottom.
I'll keep you up to date on what what's going on with all these plants that I just I'm showing you right now. I have more, but these are the ones I'm going to show you, just so you can compare. See, what I'm trying to do is trying to keep it all like all even, not zigzaggy. So when they when they uh, make new growth, it'll be more bushier, more even, more rounded. That's the plan, anyway. What happens, I don't know. It usually works out for me. I say usually. Normally, I, I would stick these in another pot, but I didn't bring, bring it in, so. I'll just stick it in here temporarily, and when it moves, I'll I will dig it out and repot it. How does that sound? And I don't want things hanging down. Because this this here little one will grow and it'll start hanging so I can I can trim these off. It seems harsh, but trust me, that this one here it has two, two of these stems. You can cut this and have them make two plants. See? Look how many plants I've made so far. And by the time spring comes around in, in Maine, by, these will be nice and flowery. Are you back here again? I'm just sticking it all in here temporarily. Because all my pots and my stuff is in the same basement. Remember I said my, my greenhouse? I have all that stuff in my greenhouse. It's in the basement. But I have to stick it in somewhere right away before they dry out on me. That's another trick you gotta make sure not to keep it exposed to the you know outdoor elements, the sun or the air, because they'll dry out. And that's all there is. And you just water it. And look how nice it's it's already looking nice. Don't mind this little one because they're all going to get repotted. But this one will be all like even, you know, not this straggly up and down which way. So, yeah, let me put this away. I don't know how long I'm taking to do this video, but I hope it's not too long. Another thing I wanted to show and share was was this saving seeds. I lo I also love to plant um uh marigolds. They usually grow very well, but for some reason I haven't had too many luck. All of a sudden, I don't know why. I think that I don't water them. <laughs> you gotta water. <laughs> but yeah, if if you water them, you should have no problem growing marigolds. They are the easiest plant to grow. And look at all these seeds you can get from the marigolds. I will show you. I don't even bother storing it properly or anything. You just leave the a few flowers towards the end of the season because if you do it in the beginning of the season, when you leave the buds on, it takes the growth away from the other flowers. So you you know it's better to pinch off the buds. But towards the end, it's gonna all die out because these are per, uh, annuals; they're not perennial. 
that means they only grow one season and they die. So towards the end, you don't, uh, what I do is I just leave the flowers, let it dry out naturally. And this is what it looks like. This is the flower, flower bud. I hope I'm taping this. But yeah, this is a flower bud. And these are actually, these are seeds. I hate to say this, but these did not make a mess here. These are really old. Pull, pull apart. I made a mess. See, they look like straws. Let me see. See, they have that little black on the bottom, and the top is like straw, straw-like. Those are the seeds. You just now plant them and they grow. Take my word for it. I've grown marigolds from seeds. Three seeds. You know me, I like three. <laughs> so, yeah. So save your marigold seeds, especially at the end of the season. Especially the kind that you like, you know. That's one way to assure you know, next year you get the same plant. So I think that's all I have to share, share with you today. And I'll be making more gardening videos to share you what's going on, whether, whether I killed my plants so or if they, if it's going to be a success story, I hope so. I've killed enough plants in my lifetime. <laughs> it's about time I, my, I start growing green thumb. So, yes. So, till next time. As always, I wish the world peace. And you have a nice day, wherever you are. Or morning, or evening. And if you like this video, subscribe. And please leave a comment. And if you have pictures of your garden, I would love to see them. So, till then, God bless. See you next time. Bye-bye.